What's going on guys? JPB Duel here. Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday. And for today's matchup, I'm bringing you a Prank Kids vs Eldritch grindy matchup. And before the game begins, I would like to apologize for not being able to stream yesterday. I had a pet emergency, had to take him to the vet. He's all fine now. And the two daily videos uploads on Prank Kids on YouTube, I did upload two. But something happened on YouTube that glitched, only one went up, the other did not, so I do apologize for it. With that being said, let's get on with the gameplay. Eldritch sets down 4 card, passes his turn. What do you expect? So my turn, draw into Ash, okay? Normal out my Lampsies to start my combo. My opponent Scarlet Sanguines on that, which I use Ash Blossom to negate. Now always, if you have Ash or any kind of negates to negate your opponent's Eldlixir of Scarlet Sanguine or any kind of Eldlixir, do so because the Golden Lord on the field means that all that trap card's secondary effect will get activated, which are really annoying to deal with. I keep going into my combo, and over here on my Doodle Doo search, my opponent is gonna activate Scale Drain. Now keep in mind, Prank Kids is a deck that could easily play through Scale Drain because we, all our effect activations are from the graveyard, but Doodle Doo search is important for us because if we don't have either Prankist Pranks or Prankist Pandemonium in our hand, this would disrupt our combo. So this disrupted my combo, so I had to think of a way to somehow recover from this. So what do I do? Now, I special out Roxy's off of Pansies. You guys see what just happened? Usually, the combo goes that you start with either any card you start with, Pansies, Lampsies, or Dropsies, you cycle through those three cards first, with Roxy's being your last in the cycle. But I made Roxy's be the third in the cycle because Nibiru against Eldritch is a dead, dead card. You will never use Nibiru against your opponent if they're playing Eldritch. So I went into my Roxy's so that I could activate Roxy's, banish the nib in my hand, maybe draw into something more useful, which I did draw into. I drew into a pretty good card being the call by the grave, a really good card against Eldritch players. Then I use Fusion Destiny, go into DPE, hit him in the face for 2k with my Bow Wow, and then try to hit him in the face with DPE, my opponent activates Aquero, I kill off the Aquero. Set down call by, end my turn. On my opponent's draw phase, activate Bow Wow Bark, target the Lampsies plus the Panda in my graveyard, add them to my hand. Now, why did I do it this way? Because that way, I'll have a starter card for my next turn, plus I'll have the Panda in my hand. Granted, I won't have access to Bow Wow Bark, so I won't be able to go into my Battle Butler, but I'll still be able to go into Weather Washer using the cards that I had in my hand. So opponent's main phase, he activates Pot of E, banishes 6, instant Ash Blossom. Don't want him drawing 2 cards. Sadly, he had another Scarlet Sanguine set on the field. So he's going to activate the Scarlet Sanguine, get the Golden Lord from his deck onto the field, and then go into battle phase, kill off my Dropsies. He's going to end his turn, activate Aquero, set down a White Destiny, Elixir of White Destiny. My DPE pops, I activate him from the graveyard. DPE is a useless card at this point, and I even draw into a useless card, DPE just being a body with 2500 attack on the field. Pretty useless. Let's see how I play my turn. My DP comes back on my standby phase, and then I normal out Lampsies to try and go into my combo. Lampsies go into Meow Moo, burn him for 5. Then special out Fansies. I needed Fansies right there because I needed to discard my Prank It's Pranks from the graveyard, so that way I could add it back to my hand using my Doodle Doos effect. I really needed my Prank It's Pranks to start recycling cards or even maybe go into a token to do something. So Fancy's discards my pranks, activate my doodle doo, target the pranks plus Fancy's in the graveyard, add them to my hand. Over here I'm gonna activate pranks and as I said before I'm gonna use pandemonium go into my weather washer. So that way I'll at least be able to hit him in the face for 2k. Go into battle phase after I activate my dropsies kill off his golden lord with my dpe dp once again activates from the graveyard try to hit him in the face for 2k using weather washer he activates white destiny so 
I use Callby and banish the Golden Lord in his graveyard. He chains his Scarlet to it, sets down a Hakuero on the field. Once it resolves, Golden Lord does get banished, but this guy had a Golden Lord in his hand. So he got the Golden Lord on the field. I had to cancel my attack, use Raigeki, pop the Golden Lord, set down the Fusion Destiny so I could go into my Celestial to draw two cards. Sadly, a dead card plus a Kaiju, not much. So, Prank is Pranks active, draw into another Kaiju, not a good card. On my opponent's draw phase, activate my Weather Washer, go into Bow Wow plus a Prank is card, and then activate Bow Wow Bark to target the Fanzies plus the Pandemonium, add them to my hand. If you guys noticed, I did it this way because in case my opponent can kill off all the cards or one of the cards I need for the prank kids butler combo on the field, I would be able to go into butler on my next turn. So I get the DPE on the field, main phase one, he tries to activate golden lord but he forgot. I used call by the grave last turn so golden lord is negated. He banishes the scarlet, sets down a guardian, banishes the white destiny, sets down conquistador. Sets down one other card, banishes Hakuero at the end of his turn, sets down Scarlet Sanguine. So, I know what this is, I know what this is, I know what this is, I just don't know what this card is. And this card will make my life pretty freaking miserable. So turn change, draw phase. I was hoping to draw into Harpy's Feather Duster, but called by another pretty good top deck because my opponent does activate the Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine on my draw phase and I immediately call by the grave the Golden Lord that he had in his graveyard. That way I was hoping maybe he was just running two Golden Lords but this guy was running three freaking Golden Lords. He got the one from his deck onto the field. I just used my Kaiju because again we know he has the cards that down that I don't want him having. They have secondary effect activation off of the Golden Lord on the field, so I just use Kaiju, get rid of it. Kaiju serves two purposes now. Once I Kaiju him, he activates the Gozen Match. Gozen Match means that each player can only have one attribute of monster on the field. I chain link my Pandemonium to the activation of Gozen Match, so that way my Butler can be on the field before Gozen Match activation goes off. It's gonna resolve, Butler on the field, Gozen Match, I select Wind, so my Butler stays on the field. My DPE is gone, activate Lampsies plus Fanzies in the graveyard, get my Fanzies on the field, burn him for 5, heal for 1, and then I end my turn. Now you guys could be asking, why not just attack into the Kadarla and kill it off? I left it on the field specifically, even though I called by the grave his Golden Lord this turn, he cannot use, go into Golden Lord on his turn, he would be forced to use the Kadarla to bump into my butler to kill off the Kadarla to get the Golden Lord on the field because again Gozen match does lock him into one attribute only he has wind Golden Lord is light he cannot get the Golden Lord on the field as long as the Kadarla is on the field end my turn draw into cross out off of the pranks that's it he activates the Scarlet Sanguine banishes it sets down Golden Land forever now Pretty good card to set. I was hoping to somehow bait that out. He uses Godarla, kills off my fansies. I'm perfectly okay with that. I draw into a Dropsies, can't do anything, end my turn, activate pranks, recycle three, hoping to draw into Harpy's Feather Duster. Still no luck. Opponent's draw phase. Goes into main phase. Now right here, you guys see, he has to go into battle phase to kill off the Godarla by bumping into my butler. This way, my butler would still be alive for one more turn. Otherwise, my butler would have died off this turn once the Golden Lord does hit the field. He puts the Golden Lord in defense, banishes the Guardian, sets down another Eldlixer, ends his turn. Draw phase, let's see. Still not Harpies, still no luck. Set down Cross Out, set down my Fancy, my Lampsies. He activates Conquistador, targets my butler, pops it. And using my butler, I get Godarla on the field. Why? Because once the turn flips over, this will go back down to 2500, and he cannot use the Golden Lord to get over my Godarla. That's the only reason for the Godarla. So I have protection against damage to my life points. So opponent's draw phase, 
He he'll put Conquistador in defense, set down one card, and this turn. My turn. Do I draw into Harpies? Still a no. So, if you guys look at my hand, I have Thunder Dragon Fusion that I got off of the Prankist Pranks Recycle, I believe, and I drew into a Prankist Place. My opponent has Golden Land Forever set down, which will negate either of these cards. So I try to bait out the Golden Land Forever using the Prank Kids plays, which I successfully do. So this way, my butler is online. I have Kudarla, which is a wind monster on the field. And the Thunder Dragon Fusion is the butler is a wind monster. So how do I play this? First, I set down the Dropsies and then go into Thunder Dragon Fusion. Yes. Set down cards are on the field. They do count as cards you can use to use Thunder, Thunder Dragon Fusion to your butler. Butler being a wind monster is not gonna counteract my Kudarla because of the goals in match. So this way, go into butler, battle phase, kill off his golden lord, try to hit him in the face for 27 with the Kudarla, but he activates Ice Dragon's Prison to target my DPE. So I use my Kudarla, kill off my own DPE, and since my DP was destroyed by battle, it could be activated from the graveyard again. But what's the point? Goes in match, locks us into one attribute monsters only, so it's not going to special itself on the field anyways. My opponent banishes one, sets down another Eldlixer, and I activate pranks, still trying to hope to draw into Harpy's Feather Duster, which I finally freaking did. Opponent's turn, he gets the Golden Lord, Specials, it's, uh, specials the Golden Lord on the field with 35 and then uses the Golden Lord I believe to kill off my Kadarla over my Butler because Butler would again take a card from the graveyard put it on the field. So there's the one in the battle phase kills off the Kadarla. Main phase 2 ends his turn. Now right here this is the moment of make or break. This is it guys. If I Harpies Feather Duster my opponent and he has no Solemn Judgment we win the game. This is it. So let's see how I play this. First of all, I activate Thunder Dragon Fusion from my graveyard to see if he had any negates. He had it. He had Ash Blossom, which he used to negate that. I'm perfectly fine with it. We already have a starter card in our hand. So that's negated. Now I activate Harpy's Feather Duster and we win. We win a 14 turns grind match against Eldritch freaking player. Tell me if you guys liked this game in the comment section below. Was it amazing for you as well? With that being said, if you guys do like this kind of videos, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel for more daily prank, prank kids uploads. If you guys are interested in the live version of all this, I do live stream on Twitch. Link along with my schedule is going to be in the video description itself. This is JP Video signing out for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace!